guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have the EZA details for the three-year anniversary LRs. Um, Int Super Vegito and the Physical Super Gogeta both released four years ago. So let's go ahead and see um, how busted they are. I do anticipate that these units are going to be very good. Because um, LR, Goku, and Frieza had a very like powerful EZA. Um, their EZA was much better than pretty much all of the LR EZAs outside of Broly. Broly and Goku and Frieza almost had, like, different LR EZAs compared to all the rest, right? Uh, and I do expect that these two are going to look somewhat similar. So let's go ahead and jump in. We got translations from Zahomi Goresh. Alright, so Patara, three key full 180%. That's very interesting. So, we're now getting 180% leads, and then in type key 3 and 120%. 180% is really good. Um, and the shitty Patara team really needs that. Fusion is definitely 100,000 times better than the Patara team at this point. But, um, Fusion 180 is going to be pretty good as well. Alright, so... The 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn and does Colossal. 18 key, raises attack and defense for one turn and does Mega Colossal. Okay, nice. Okay, that's good. Um, the, Getting the defense on both super attacks is definitely ideal. 180% attack and defense at the start of turns. So they got an additional 60%. That is really good. Medium chance to crit. Medium chance to dodge. And then two key per rainbow key sphere. Um, what are their links again? They have good links. Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage Experience Fighters, Prepare for Battle, First Battle, Legendary Power. Very good, very good. Okay, that unit next to STR Vegito is gonna go bonkers. That's for goddamn sure. Um, okay. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but an extra 60% is definitely gonna look good. Alright, so 12 key, raise attack and defense for one turn. That used to do nothing. The 18 key, alright, now we're talking. Greatly raise defense for one turn, and then raise allies attack by 30%. So that's in a 50% defensive buff he's getting. So we have the full heal, the counter, 200% up from 150 Damage reduction. Wow. Damage reduction, huh? 30% damage reduction for his first three turns, and then 15% damage reduction from the fourth turn. Three key per rainbow key sphere, and then this unit is... They're getting two key per rainbow key sphere. Um... One thing I don't think is that they did not mention um, the transformation conditions. So, as of right now, we're unsure if it's changed. If it's still under 50% HP in turn 6. Now, that's not the greatest ever. But if we're talking about, like, the ultimate red zone and stuff like that, like, that's nothing. It's not hard to get whatsoever. That's more so just, like, not going to happen in Super Battle Road. To me... Like, getting under, whoops, getting under 50% is not, like, that bad in some of this difficult content. It's like, once you start creeping below that, like, once you have to get, like, under 40% is where it can be a little bit hit or miss. So, I mean, already I'm looking at this unit. They're going to be a substantial unit in the ultimate red zone. Like, that. looking at these two, this is how people are going to beat the ultimate red zone is with these two units, I'm thinking. Right, like if you have the LR Super Saiyan fours, you could rock like all these characters on the same team. It'd be ridiculous, right? Okay. Um. Yeah, dude. The LR Super Saiyan fours. They've got the best team in the game now for sure with these two. All right. Now, damn, dude, because he is rocking two hundred percent right there. What is his defense? Don't they have ridiculously high? De oh my god! Yes, they do. Yeah, I mean, this unit's going to be rocking 200k plus defense with 30% damage reduction. This Vegito is like God. 
<laughs> this this is the new god of the game right here. This guy. Yeah, yeah. That pose, you know, hands on his hips waiting for his cock to be sucked. And that's exactly what's going to be happening. He's going to be dirty. Because this really matters. I will say, right, that in, like, the ultimate red zone, you definitely could see this happen. Because, remember, their transformation, it's not like an active skill or something like that. So, like, that could pop. And then, I mean, he would definitely, I think, be taking damage at this point. But he's looking pretty disgusting. I, This guy is good. All right, so let's see what they did with Gogeta. Now, Vegito, it's, like, almost impossible that they make this Gogeta like equivalent to Vegito. So let's see what happened here. By the way, um, this is the best EZ unit in the game, just in case you're curious. All right, so let's go and take a look. Maybe Gogeta's better. We'll see. F this is ridiculous now, by the way. Fusion is way better than Patara because Fusion has um, the seventh year LRs, both of them on here, right? You have the Super Saiyan 4s and the Gods. So the Fusion team is actually insane. Like, it's really good now. So that's that's a powerful leader skill. So fusion three key one eighty percent, and then physical types three key one twenty percent. Um, looks like the twelve and eighteen key super attack effects are the same as the Vegito unit. So we're getting thirty percent on twelve key, and then thirty percent on their eighteen key, both uh, attack and defense. Um, they're getting the same thing as the Vegito, an extra sixty percent to bump them up to one eighty percent attack and defense. Medium chance to crit, medium chance to evade. All right. I I do think they could have done a little bit better than this. I mean, just, I don't know. I, I, I'll i say this. You get rid of the com crit completely. Just give them a 50% chance to dodge. I'd like the units better for sure. Um, An extra two key per rainbow key sphere. Okay, solid. All right. So let's see what they do with Gogeta, man. They, they got it. There's nothing they could do. Like, he's not going to match Vegito. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Um, 30% attack and defense, 12 key, okay. He greatly raises defense for one turn, med colossal. He still does this. This is so pointless. So, Gogeta, right, you're not going to get to him till past turn six. There's, like, nowhere where you can debuff the enemy past turn six. It's actually pointless, this attack lowering. But they did give him the greatly raised defense. That's good. Okay. So, he fully recovers HP. Super effective against all types. 200% attack and even to the start of turn. I see, dude, they did. I hate this. This, uh, okay, okay, okay. The 50% the chance to dodge is pretty sick. Guaranteed crits is obviously great, but like he's already super effective against all types. I think this unit would be outright better if this was a guaranteed additional right here. So he's already super effective against all types. Give him a guaranteed additional and the high chance to dodge for three turns from first appearance. He'd be better. Gain a high chance to crit and medium chance to dodge starting from the fourth turn. And then, th oh my god, dude. Vegito is so much better. Yeah, there's nothing they could do. They... they <laughs> In order to make this guy match Vegito, he would have to, like, guaranteed... Would a guaranteed triple super make him match Vegito? I don't even know. Probably not. Probably not. Uh, again, counters as a mechanic, I would probably argue have been overrated for a long time. But not, not on these LRs that are rocking, like, 20,000 or near 20,000 attack. I mean, this fucker's got 200% attack at the start of turn. Uh, the counter damage is going to be out of this world that this dude is going to do. And he's not... Like, STR Vegito in, like, the ultimate red, red zone is like a ballerina or something like that. He just gets obliterated. He's... Get out of here. This guy, it's not going to be like that. Right? Like, this is going to substantially cut down damage from super attacks if he does eat them. Uh, again, Vegito to me is looking like the best easy unit in the game far and away. Don't sleep on the fact that they they do that heal too. That shit is so good. These are these are like the goats for the ultimate red zone for sure. They're they're both looking really good. 
Um, I mean, Gogeta's really good, right? Like, the 50% chance to dodge guaranteed crits, really good. Um, their links are slightly different, too, aren't they? Let me see. I think the Gogeta unit does not have Saiyan lineage. Let's see. Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experience Fighter, Spirit Fighter, Fierce Fighter, Legendary Fighter. So they have Golden Warrior and they have Saiyan Lineage. So the Vegito unit wins out right there. Um, And then, of course, they get Power Bestowed by God, Infused Fighter. And then you get just Fuse Fighter. Okay. Um, And he's also got Kamehameha, whereas, yeah, he does as well. Yeah. Uh, Vegito is the best CZ unit in the game. Um, they're both really good leaders. They're going to be incredible for the ultimate red zone, which is the hardest content in the game. Um, they're looking good. I, I, I'm definitely impressed. I think they could have made Gogeta a little bit better to try and match it, but it's like they, I, they weren't going to do that. Th this is, I hate when they do this. Tech Gogeta does the same thing. They're giving him, they're doubling up on like the same thing. Giving him additionals would be far better than the crits, right? Or give him crits, get rid of the super effect against all types, and give him additionals. I hate that they double up on that, right? Whereas Vegito is just doing 50 million damage per turn, and Gogeta is doing 10 million damage per turn, right? Or some shit like that. Um, but they are very, very nasty. There's just not much they could do to make Gogeta match it, right? So let me know what you guys think of the... Two best EZAs in the game. I, I I would probably say this unit is still better than SCR Broly, though. Because, again, you really can't discredit that full heal. That shit is going to be so powerful. These units are going to be very tanky. Um, I mean... I guess I could say, if anything, I do wish they were a little bit better in base. Again, that medium chance to crit, medium chance to evade, not really the craziest. But they're definitely looking pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Um... Definitely very good stuff, though. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.